Okay, so we're on workbook page 452, and this is chapter six, lesson three. We are going to be evaluating expressions. So what that means is we take a value for a variable and we plug it in for that variable. So for number one, this says evaluate each expression if m equals four, z equals nine, and r is one six. So number one is three plus m. So if m is equal to four, then we can replace m with a four. So we do three plus four, which equals seven. Number two, z minus m. So z is nine minus m is four. And nine minus four is five. Number three, we have 12r. Remember a number next to a variable? That just means multiplication. So this means 12 times r, remember we use the dot, and r is 1 6. So we have 12 times 1 6. So that's 12 over 1 times 1 over 6. So 12 times 1 is 12. 1 times 6 is 6. And then 12 divided by 6 is 2. Number 4, 4m four minus 2. Remember that means 4 times m minus 2. You have to follow order of operations still, so we got to do multiplication first. So 4 times m is 4 minus 2. So 4 times 4 is 16. 16 minus 2, that's 14. Number five, 60 R minus four. So that means 60 times R minus four. R is one six. So we have 60 times a six minus four. So remember we could put a one down there. 60 over one, I mean 60 times one is 60. One times six is six. 60 over six is 10. That, that means 60 divided by 6. Then bring down this minus 4. 10 minus 4 is 6. Last one, number 6. Actually, we have one word problem. Number 6, 3r squared. So this means 3 times r squared. r is 1 6. So 3 times 1 6 squared. Now remember we need to do exponents first, order of operations. So 1 6 squared is 1 6 times 1 6. 1 times 1 is 1, 6 times 6 is 36. So that's 1 over 36. Bring down this 3. So we have 3 times 1 over 36. So put this over 1. Remember we could cross simplify too. So this becomes a one and this becomes a 12. So then we have one times one on top and one times 12 on the bottom. So that's one twelfth. Okay, last one. The amount of money that remains from a $20 bill after Melina buys four party favors for P dollars each is 20 minus four P. Find the amount remaining if each favor costs $3. Okay, so the party favors are P dollars each. So they're saying if the party favors are $3 each, they're saying P is equal to three. So they want us to evaluate this expression, 20 minus four P, if P equals three. So that's 20 minus four times three, because remember, four P means four times three, not four, not 43. Okay, now order of operations. We have to multiply first. Four times three is 12, and then 20 minus 12 is eight. So the answer is $8 remaining. Remember that you could rewind the video, you could pause it after each problem um, if you feel like I went too fast.